Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's project we're going to be installing a catch can. Basically, uh, we're, our test vehicle that we have today is our 2012 Corvette 7 liter, but uh, this is uh, the principle is basically the same for pretty much any engine. And uh, the reason why you would want a catch can installed on your engine is because as you rev the motor, basically remember, the engine is a glorified air pump, okay? All it does is take air in and push it out this way. That's all it really does. And what it does is inside the crankcase, it'll start building pressure. It'll start coming up. And uh, you have a, a standard system that deals with the pressure. It's the PCV system. But what eventually happens is, is if you start modding the motor and you start fixing things and tweaking stuff around, what will happen is the pressure starts building and building and building, and the pressure really doesn't have anywhere to go. What's the weakest link that's going to happen? It's going to find the smallest... Uh, most useless, uh, hard to get at, of course, uh, gasket, and it's going to start leaking from that gasket. It's going to blow that gasket out, and it's going to start leaking from there. So uh, what we need to do is we need to find a place for those gases to go. Now we can do this. Now remember, this is inside the engine. So inside that engine is a bunch of oil. Now, it, you know, you could just vent all those, you know, gases out into the atmosphere, but you, it's really much safer if you have a catch can. So if the, the oil vapor gets stuck in here, it accumulates down at the bottom, so then you can drain it, and then you can kind of reuse it. So what I'm using today is the, it's called the Mighty Mouse uh, catch can system. And uh, basically the idea is it's got an in and an out, and there's a bunch of ways to you know mount and configure these now of course the more horsepower and more mods you do to the engine the more pressure it's going to build in the crankcase so you want to you have to have a more aggressive system now ours it doesn't make a ton it makes more than stock but it doesn't make more uh, than a you know it's not gonna, it's not a boosted application and it's not a uh, you know, turboed application in that way, so it's not a huge cram or anything like that. So well, ours is just a mild, you know, heads and cam package. So I went with a smaller one, and I do have to say out loud, uh, I paid for this retail. They are not paying me in any way to make this video or talk about their product in any way. This is more a, a, of a uh, overall video of how to install a catch can and why it's important to have one so you don't blow your seals on your motor and start leaking oil every place and then wondering why you keep blowing that same seal because it's the weakest link that you've got. So uh, basically, uh, there's a bunch of ways to route this. I'm going to show you the kind of the diagram that they give you. And the diagram, again, totally the same for any engine that makes pressure. Uh, you know, especially high pressure, it's going to push it up uh, towards, the, towards the surface and, and blow these gaskets out. Real simple on the mild version is, is basically we're just going from the valley pan, which, it, which has its own uh, port here. And uh, in the LS motors, they run a loop from the valley pan up to the air intake and that feeds right back into the motor so if you think about it uh, if the pressure starts to build and it's shoving oil back up in there basically it's just cannibalizing itself it's it's eating its its own oil essentially it's shoving it back into the engine and then combusting it sending it out the tailpipe we don't want that we don't want the engine to eat itself we want to capture that oil here and we want to be able to then, you know, you know, scavenge it for later. So the other thing you notice about this particular one is that most have, you know, this breather right here. This one does not. Uh, I ordered it with the recirculator. So if you listen carefully, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a little check valve in the top here. Now this one, uh, when the pressure builds, it's going to come in, you know, this line and, you know, kind of recirculate back to the engine in this line and then drop its oil down in here, uh, which you can see some you know metal bits to kind of uh, filter it out a little bit. Uh, but once the if the pressure gets too great, what it'll do, a little check valve here will open up and then spew you know the oil if we're like on the racetrack or something. Because uh, the worst thing you can do is have you know one of these filters here and then have pressure build up so much in here that it starts shooting you know oil out the top, you know whatever. And then, of course, you know, you, whatever you mount your catch can, it's always, of course, going to be right above some hot exhaust, which, of course, is right there. And that's bad because, you know, oil 
super hot metal fire bad right so this one has an expandable uh, kind of uh, valve in here so pressure gets too great and then what we can do is then uh, we will uh, you know use some tubing and we'll route it somewhere you know over 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 here just in case everything that does happen uh, they also mentioned you can put it up here you know old NASCAR style pushing it up here so that if you do have a an overpressurized uh, crankcase situation so much so that it overwhelms your system it'll you know splash up onto the windshield which then indicates you've got a massive problem so um, you know that's kind of another option as well we don't plan on kind of beating this car too hard but it is it's just nice to have insurance just for those crankcase pressures but so we do need to find another place to put this and you know kind of looking around the engine and kind of giving her the one silver the best place that we found uh, was the place that you know mighty mouse recommended which was kind of right here so i went ahead and pulled this piece off and then i have to mount very delicately the mighty mouse look at that it looks like a mouse little ears isn't that cute so i'm going to mount that right here Oh yeah, the hardware they give you, good old 7 sixteenths, America. So then of course we got to mount something round onto something square, so we need to get ourselves a mounting clamp. We got a couple bolts here, and we're just going to put it right there. Alright, so the hard part, uh, hard part's done. Basically I just got to slide this bad boy in here, and just go ahead and cinch that bolt up. Alright, uh, you will notice that I did install this between you know, kind of this uh, port here and then the kind of the, the view window uh, just to get it lower down so the hood would close because we want some hood clearance. Uh, also just got to think about where we want this routed because we're going to go here uh, to the valley pan and then probably here uh, to the intake off or the uh, port off the intake. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cinch that up again, 7 sixteenths. All right, so I need to figure out, I want to make this look as factory as possible and the, the kit comes with enough hose to get you there. Uh, I just wanted to kind of route it, so I might route it back under here and, and, and under there. I'm not sure I'm going to route uh, the vent tube yet, but the nice thing about these LS motors is these things just snap right off, and of course, not out of our way, and we can get to our valley port that we're, the valley plug that we're looking for, and also the intake one, which is right down in there. So we'll get to that in just a smidge of a second. All right, so I was able to access the valley pan, which is down here. It says tube, which is basically just a, a U that makes it, and it just it simply pulls off like so. Let me grab it. See? There it is. All that is is a U. We're going to plug one side into here. We're going to plug the other side into here with a couple hoses in between. All right, so I got the one side on, and let me get a little bit of light here. And not too much light. There we go. Uh, and uh, let me tell you, just a little tip, these push-on fittings that go onto this tube, put a little dab of WD or whatever your favorite slickness is, and uh, it, before you make a comment in the comments, I'm using an adjustable wrench, I know, and guess what, it's worked for me for years, and I don't care, I'm going to continue to do it, I know there are specific AEN wrenches out there, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to use it, sorry. All right, just use a little WD-40 on this end. It made it a lot easier than uh, going in dry. <coughs> anyway, uh, so we've got, we're going to go from here. You know, if you notice, you'll feed it along, feed it along, feed it along. And, of course, down here, we've got down to the valley pan. And then, let's see if I can get some good light in so you can see. Uh, for this install, it's going to go right here to the air intake. That's that one right above it. Now, you don't have to uh, do that. This is just the way this one's set up because it's for mild settings, uh, you know, for a mild build. But, you know, some guys will run it off of here. Sometimes they'll run it off the, uh, you know, the PCV system. So they'll eliminate the PCV entirely and then just run a catch can. So, you know, really this is not, um, you know, there's no perfect science to it. But the, the idea is to get the gases out of the engine and somewhere where it's safe so that, you know, they don't start blowing seals. All right, take your tube, find your other end, which is down in there. I'm just going to go ahead and push it on home. Let's see if we can get her, get her going. Oh, yep. There we go. Got her. 
and uh, you know, not uh, not too bad. Sort of looks, yeah, looks like it's meant to be there. Once I put the valve covers on, you know, maybe zip tie those out of the way. Eh, you'll never know. There's only one step left that we've got to do. There she be. Eh, lines almost look factory. Not half, not half bad if I do say so myself. Double check everything is tight, and these are all good. That's not going anywhere. Last thing to do, unlock the door here. Step on inside. 